Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can make this look good. I wonder how big we're going to make it. I'm going to zoom it up to 400. I'm going to make it a little bit more contrasty. I'm going to lighten it a bit. Let's see what we have. I have here a postcard, Australian Museum, Sydney, New South Wales. That's the front there, and that's the back. And inside, it's just a postcard, like the usual shit. Postage stamp required. We're just interested, probably, in that little. Try and making making a picture of that person, in, that skeletal, the skeletal remains of a person and a dinosaur. It's an interesting piece. <laughs> it's a bit creepy. Um, but it's interesting, so we're just going to put it on the glass like so. Try and straighten it, get it nice, just put it down. Hope the dock feeder doesn't damage it too much, because I'd like to give this away for someone who'd like to uh, use it as a postcard. I'm actually thinking I did it the wrong way round. I'm meant to do it like this way. I'm actually wondering... Which way should go to the end? I think this should. I think we had it right before, even though it didn't seem terribly. Had it right? I'm trying to think because I just wanted. Whatever. I'm just going to put it back the way it was, pretty much. I don't know why I didn't think. I'm just going to put it back pretty much the way it was. And we're just going to push that up against the edge there. I'm just going to line that up neat and tidy. Just try and straighten it. We don't want to crook it if we can avoid it. So just push it like that. It's a little bit tricky. Let's see how we go. 400%. Alright, let's see if we've positioned it nicely. Yeah, that looks interesting. Looks very yellow. Unfortunately, we got the edge there, and the man, and the bone, bony man's head has been cut off. Um, wondering if we're going to use, we're going to try and push the card down a bit or up a bit to get rid of that golden edge and that there. So I fucked it up. So we're just gonna. So we're just going to push that up further, so that's going to be up further, much further, and we're just going to drop the dock feeder on that. Um, I'm wondering if the colour could be improved, it looks all yellow, it looks too yellow folks. I don't know why it looks like that. Um, trying to think. We don't normally do this, but we're just going to drop the yellow heaps and maybe the copy density could go lighter. Um, we'll see how we go. see if we've improved on it yeah it looks better it looks a bit better we've cut off the bottom there a bit too much but I'm thinking it looks like it could make a good mirror image it has potential uh, I don't know how I'm gonna make it work wondering if oh there's something interesting there that might 
make some meaning for this bit up there, this ugly bit. I'm actually thinking we're going to have to um, push it down a bit anyway because we've made it too far up. So we're just going to slide that across a bit. Actually, we slipped it across. Uh, if we slide it across, it's going to cut off the foot of that bone man. So I'm wondering if we're just going to quickly fix that, just slide it back where it was so we don't end up losing the foot, <laughs> totally at least. So now we're just going to do that. See how we go. This is, I had a gut feeling this was going to be a challenging one position wise and sight, well, position wise at least. Unfortunately, we've got that ugly gold bit, whatever that is. Uh, and we've cut off, we've, we're too far across. So we fucked. We fucked it up, folks. We fucked it again. We've done a fuck up. So now we're going to have to move it this way. I hate this. I hate it when things are so fucking hard to do right. You know what I mean, folks? Uh, rhetorical question. You try to do the right thing and you get it partly right and then you get, you have to, you, you fix up, we fix one problem and you make another. I hate that. I really do. I really hate it when that happens, folks. And I've made it worse. Again, now his, his foot is cut off. His leg is cut off. I fucked it. I don't know which way to move it, folks. I've forgotten how, which way to move it. We're going to move it that way. Because I moved it too far this way. We're going to shift it right over. I, I don't know if this is going to work, folks. I should have just went with my intuition and just allowed it to slide not just not try and fuck it myself because I can't always make a good result on my own power. I have help, I have intuition and if I don't follow my intuition I fuck things up. Anyway that looks a lot better. I think that looks a lot better now so I'm thinking uh, at least he's got lost part of his foot, he's just got his head skimmed so I'm thinking and that one's in the picture so I'm thinking now uh, my intuition's telling me to run the job as it is. So I'm wondering where the center of this job will be. My intuition's telling me that's going to be the center. So we're going to run off this job. We finally got it. This is not an easy one. <laughs> Getting the positioning accurate to look good. Let's see how that works. So that's the second piece, and we're going to make the, the third and the fourth piece, as usual, into mirror images to be put together with these two. So we're going to put those there like that, and we're just going to bang off two, no, not one. We're going to put two. We want two mirror images, so we're just going to switch over to here. Just going to give, it, give us a paper size to work with so we don't have this machine cropping the image in, in error. So let's see how we go. Okay, out of that come. It's not the easiest original to work with, folks, but it, w it looks all right sort of wish the man's head wasn't up the top like that but you know otherwise we'd end up losing the feet off that so let's see if we can just line up the top of the head there like so and this one line up his head like so okay that looks interesting it looks kind of strange I think now we can call this demo Quits.